McLaren is back. Before anyone expected it, the team is making a strong statement by bringing out the big guns for the 2024 season. McLaren has already made headlines in 2024 with a surprise reveal. And even if we have only seen the livery of the MCL38, there's a lot of information that you need to know about their big plans. Not only for the next season, but onwards. Let's break down what's going on with McLaren, the MCL38, and why this could surprise everyone. So don't go anywhere. Welcome to F1 Flash, your gateway to everything F1. So, McLaren is hinting a strong comeback after a remarkable turnaround in the end of 2023, looking as strong as they haven't been able to be for a decade. Last year, they were upfront about their struggles, but now they're confident and ready to challenge Red Bull. McLaren was the first team to share their orange and black livery, and though the chrome numbers are a bit tricky to read, we'll get a closer look to the big design evolution on February 14th, just in time for preseason testing in Bahrain on February 21st. Unlike last year, McLaren isn't hiding their car because it's not up to par. In fact, they've been working hard on the MCL38, focusing on key areas like suspension, aero development, tire usage, and the perfect ride height. The aim is to maintain the impressive progress from 2023 and avoid the development plateau they faced in the winter of 2022 and 2023. Zach Brown and team principal Andrea Stella have revamped the team's approach. They've moved away from blaming infrastructure and made significant progress with the existing setup. The 2024 car has been developed in their new wind tunnel since September. And honestly, they're looking like a 2024 contender as far as we can notice from their confidence. So here's how the new McLaren team has assembled. They've hired a technical dream team with experts focusing on different projects. Peter Prodromo, an Adrian Newey apprentice in the 2000s, will focus on in-season aerodynamic changes. David Sanchez, ex-chief architect for Ferrari, will focus on the car concept for 2025 and especially for the 2026 regulation changes. And Rob Marshall, coming from Red Bull, will bring a lot of engineering knowledge and will take the lead on developing both Prodromo and Sanchez ideas into reality. Even though they started working on January 2nd, they are already contributing ideas for the 2024 car, which could heavily affect the mid-season. And it's actually scary how the team now has the flexibility to work on short, medium, and long-term projects simultaneously, which probably will mean a crucial advantage in 2025 and onwards seasons. Let's not forget about the front line of racing. Lando Norris, one of the rising stars in F1, is under contract until 2025, but talks are ongoing for a fresh deal to keep him close for plenty more time. McLaren sees him as a key component for their return to the front of the grid, so letting him go would be a big hit for them. However, as Norris will have a chance to test McLaren's promises in 2024, if the car is not up to the task, there could be some big changes entering the 2025 season. New sponsorships from Monster Energy, a longtime Mercedes partner, and Estrella Galicia, plus the F1 cost cap have contributed to McLaren turning a profit in 2023. So after the global financial hit of 2020 that heavily affected the supercar market, McLaren's financial situation finally seems to be in a good position. McLaren is setting its sights on challenging Red Bull, but Andrea Stella warns that the Austrian team could make a significant leap forward in 2024. If Red Bull unleashes all their improvements on the 2024 car, it could be a tough challenge for McLaren. What do you think? Will they be able to take on Red Bull? If you're still here, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned, stay fast, stay with F1 Flash.